Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain to you how notifications work inside of Microsoft Planner. Planner, of course, is a task management tool, uh, a part of uh, Microsoft uh, 365, and essentially it allows you to, you know, uh, it allows you, your team members to manage tasks on a given plan on a given uh, project. So here on the screen, you get to see one of my plans that I have. Uh, it's a uh, happens to be a plan for HR team site. Uh, and very, very important to note is that uh, those plans do not exist out there in space. They are uh, tightly integrated. They're part of uh, Microsoft 365 uh, security group. So behind the scenes, uh, you know, with this plan, we have a Microsoft 365 uh, group. We have uh, uh, the security group, of course. We have the uh, distribution list. We have the uh, SharePoint site, a team site that's connected to it, and you could also have Microsoft Teams attached to it as well. Uh, very, very important to note that because um, I'm about to explain to you uh, how notifications work, and uh, they do rely on some of those group concepts I just uh, explained. Uh, so in terms of notifications, what I mean are, that are just, you know, kind of email notifications that you would get when uh, certain things happen in Planner, maybe a task is completed or assigned, etc. Uh, now, uh, to manage notifications, you click on three dots and click on Plan Settings. And then you would click on Notifications. Now, notifications are, uh, are broken down into uh, two groups, all right, two types, I should say. Uh, the group email notifications and personal notifications. So the group email settings are only controlled by those who are owners of the group, all right? So I happen to be the owner, all right? So I can actually control the notifications, the emails are uh, sent to my members, all right? Uh, at the same time, uh, individual you know, team members can also control some notifications as well. Let me first uh, explain to you uh, the, uh, you know, the group settings, uh, the group notifications that are available, uh, uh, you know, to be configured by group owner. Uh, so first of all, it actually states it in fine print that emails are always sent to the group when a comment is made on the task. All right. Uh, it's actually in fine print, but uh, let me explain to you what uh, it means. So let's say I uh, I have a new task, all right? Here we go, just creating a task in Planner. And I happened to put some comments in here, all right? Just some comments uh, on, a, uh, on a task. Uh, what will happen, what will happen, let me open my Outlook. What will happen if you go to the group, all right, to the group, uh, that um, is essentially associated, right? Uh, the distribution list uh, that is associated with this planner, with this plan in planner. Look at this. Uh, the group receives an email. The group receives an email, uh, uh, you know, essentially notifying them that, that there are some comments that have been submitted uh, on this particular task, all right? So those emails, just like it states here, very, very important. Uh, it's kind of in fine print, but, uh, you know, those emails will always be sent. You cannot really unsubscribe from them. But the good thing is they are, uh, they are only delivered to the group, all right? You're not going to get them in your inbox, all right? So you're not going to be overwhelmed with all these emails. These emails will just be present uh, within the group inbox. Uh, the second setting uh, that um, the the second setting that the group owner can tweak is the send an email to a group when a task is assigned or completed. And this is actually uh, disabled, all right? I, I checked this box, but it's actually off by default. So you're not going to get any emails. But if I'm the owner of the group and I want to notify my group members that uh, an email has been, uh, you know, has been, uh, th that the task has been assigned or completed, all right, it will send an email to the group. Uh, and uh, let me show you what will actually happen. So again, I enabled the setting, so uh, the group will be notified when a task is assigned or completed. So let's make this happen. So I'm going to take this task and I'm going to assign it to Mary, one of my team members. Uh, and let me go to my group email now. 
all right look at this all right there is another email that came into the group and essentially it just tells everyone again that uh, because i enabled the checkbox that the task has been assigned now what's cool about those emails is that uh, let's say i also want to be notified in my inbox all right this is my group distribution list but you know what i also want to be notified in the inbox uh, as well right because you know i never really go to those uh, different groups in here uh, i want to be notified in my inbox look at this the email is in my inbox but in order for the email to appear in the inbox you really need to follow that group all right you need to kind of subscribe to the emails from the group let me show you what you need to do uh, it's just something i already did that's why i got this email but you navigate to the group in outlook uh, click three dots settings and then you need to follow this group in your inbox so uh, all this you know group emails all right uh, if let's say your group owner checks that box uh, you want to be notified in your inbox you need to uh, you need to check this radio button if i'm not mistaken the you know by default it's off all right uh, by default uh, it might be configured to something like this where so you don't uh, get overwhelmed with all the, all of those emails uh, when tasks are assigned or completed etc but you can subscribe yourself just make sure to follow the group in the inbox and you will get those emails so just wanted to show that to you very very important so this is all really uh, there is to it in terms of the uh, group email settings all right uh, now, no matter what uh, the owner does, let's say the owner, you know, did not check this box, right? Uh, we also have personal settings. Uh, so this what kind of group settings applying to all the, you know, plan members, all the group members. But each and every member also has a chance to tweak a few settings of their own. Uh, now, pretend I'm just a regular, you know, team member. I'm not the owner of the plan. So I just want to be notified when somebody assigns a task to me all right so here we go um you know i just check this box oh you know what there is another uh, option i want to be notified when uh you know the task is due within a week when it's uh you know late or due today uh you know etc etc all right so you can do that and click save and uh, essentially uh, from that point on when somebody assigns a task uh you are going to get an email now i'm going to assign a task to myself i'm not sure if i'm going to get an email because i'm kind of assigning it to myself but we'll find out uh yeah i i don't think i'm getting an email here just because uh just because i pretty much assigned it to myself but if somebody were to uh, in, uh assign a task to me or if uh you know the task has a due date and it's assigned to me and it's you know due within a week uh it's uh, close to due, da due date uh you would get essentially an email in your inbox right because the, again this is not the group setting anymore this is a personal setting you will get an email uh, telling you that uh you know the task uh, is assigned or, or due uh, pretty soon etc right uh so that's all there is really to it not a lot of settings you can configure uh you know i'm sure the this uh, notifications will be improved uh, just a few uh, really you know a few settings you can play with uh you know on a personal i guess side of things and group side of things but uh uh you know hopefully you learned something new in this video all right and uh i hope to see you again on my youtube channel as well as my blog sharepointmaven.com thank you very much and have a great rest of the day goodbye